I drove across the United States to expose Mr. Beast. Polls and goals, welcome to a brand new video. It is I, Lord on Vacation or cannot stay away from the chaos as Mr. Beast is still there to be milked. I'm sorry for mispronouncing his name. It was a mistake. It will not happen again. For my next trick, how to convince the IRS that this entire vacation was in fact a business trip on traveling through the United States to expose Mr. Beast. It's all part of my epic plan. God damn it, I mispronounced his name again. I do sincerely apologize. It's a mistake. It's dyslexia. Either that or it was conveniently not mentioning Mr. Breast's true name until we passed the 30 second mark of the video because I've noticed YouTube does not like me calling him Mr. Breast in the intros anymore. Will that stop me? Probably not. Just felt like it was worth a little test. And speaking of tests, while traveling, going hiking, climbing mountains, entering valleys and canyons, it's been a wonderful trip. Me, honestly, touching grass, allegedly. And then you look at my camera roll of my phone, trying to see all the incredible things I've done. You know, Grand Canyon, Bryce Canyon, Zaya National Park, all the great stuff. My camera roll is full of Walmart pictures of Mr. Beast's Feastables on sale and on clearance and, and Mr. Beast toys getting sold for garbage, no, no price, uh, and, and, and Prime literally being, they're, they're paying you to take Prime off their shelves, god damn it. In my last video covering Mr. Breasticle, I, I made a very interesting claim. I, I asked you guys to go into the world, I know, it's a big ask, you guys ain't going nowhere into the world, alright dude, alright, come on bro. The metaverse isn't realistic enough yet for you to leave your bedrooms. And I asked you, is Mr. Beast's product and Logan Paul's product on sale near you? And I'm going to read a couple of comments from my video talking about it because I think it's important to see what the people are saying and why I decided to actually go out of my way to travel across the United States to expose Mr. Breasticle. Yeah, dude, working in a retail store in Australia right now. Prime is 40% off. Meanwhile, haven't seen a single person buy Feastable in the past two months, lol. I used to work for a 7-Eleven, and I can confirm that those brands are not only garbage, but were on sale. UK here, I think most of my local stores have stopped selling Prime altogether. I walked into a Walmart. Prime was on sale for 4 or $5. Feastable ends up on the store that no... Blah, blah, blah. Feastable ends up sent to the store that buys stuff that no one can sell and sells them for 50 cents a piece. I work at a grocery store. Can confirm we get a shitload of Prime in stock initially. Then after a while, we put it off only for 99 cents to get rid of it. We no longer carry it. As someone in my local Walmart, roughly 50 hours a week, bro, you need help. Yes, it is on clearance. Prime has a buy one, get one free for the past year here in Austria. Lamau. Even on Sailor Korean, clearance, Mr. Breast's stuff doesn't sell. I randomly picked three of the items in a store I worked at, and one of his stretchy beast toys that sold two in six weeks, and one of them was to return for a refund. Bro, sold two products, and one was returned. When I worked at Walgreens, Prime was always on clearance. Bro, I was just in Walmart after hiking. All the sports drinks were sold out. The only thing on the shelf was Prime. Lamau! Now, the reason why I mention all of this is because uh, I, too, wanted to test this theory. I wasn't just going to let some ne'er-do-wells on Twitter convince me of something that I don't see with my own two eyes because I have become convinced that nothing on Twitter is in fact the real world. Having entered the real world, I can confirm my findings. It's all on sale, it's all on clearance, it's all being gotten rid of. Now, the irony of all this is the facade that's being put up. When Logan Paul, KSI, and Mr. Beast joined forces, like the, the freaking Avengers Assemble of greedy internet douchebags, the, the slightly less ethical version of Jesse James and Meowth, and they released Lunchly as a better food product than Lunchables. Everyone's talking about how their food is the best and the healthiest and the most awesomest stuff ever in the world in Zawarudo. And they prove all that stuff by showing you all their sales numbers of the very, very beginning of all of their sales. I have made a claim a very long time ago where I said that ultimately people care if the product is good. This matters across the board. There is no long-term success with a crappy product. There are fads, there are trends, there's your fidget spinner bonanza that happens every once in a while. A really awesome huge marketing push could definitely put something in the public eye at some point, but if the product is trash, the product will fail. Mr. Beast ended up in a huge lawsuit over, well, everyone's talking about his big Beast Games lawsuit for allegedly terrorizing his contestants, but he was in a lawsuit for Mr. Beast Burger as well. KSI and Logan Paul are sitting on multiple massive lawsuits for Prime right now. And I'm not just talking about how they're, they're peddling diabetes to children. I'm talking about 
just bad food. Food that tastes bad. Ultimately, when people buy stuff, they want it to taste good. Listen, I'm an arbiter of chaos, okay? Chaotic neutral force over here, trying to sit in the middle and laugh at the world around me as it burns on fire, as things tend to burn. I'm sitting in a hotel room, okay, and I'm trying not to scream and piss off my neighbors at 2 o'clock in the morning, goddammit. But I have been silently chuckling, reading my comments, going to Walmarts, and seeing Mr. Beast's brand new toy line, which was just released in his newest video, by the way, on clearance for $27, uh, again, trying to get rid of literally all of it, okay? Just trying to get rid of his new Monster Lab. He just released it. It's already on clearance. How on earth do you even speedrun that? And of course, right behind Monster Lab on the clearance sale, there is this massive tub of prime bottles that they're trying to get rid of for 75 cents a piece okay all right here are my, my beautiful photos from my vacation yes i'm not showing you the the epic sexy selfies none of that stuff but but take a look at this yeah now th this is proof of my worth this, this this these photos are going straight to the irs when i ask for a business expense your honor i needed to go to the walmart in arizona to prove to my audience of cringe weirdos that the downfall of Logan Paul and KSI is right in front of our eyes. Yes, your honor, I did call myself an arbiter of chaos, but I meant that in the good way. Yes, your honor, I did say that cannibalism is more ethical than Mr. Beast videos, but once again, you're, you're taking me out of context, your honor. For years, I've been saying that the only one that could cancel you is you. When your content becomes trash, or when you betray your audience to the point that they don't want to see you anymore, that's how you get canceled. But as long as the product is good, or the content is good, the YouTuber could remain alive indefinitely. And it's not just YouTubers, it's products. This isn't some massive boycott that's hurting Logan Paul, or and KSI, and Mr. Beast. The kids that are the core fan bases of these people are still watching the videos. Mr. Beast's videos are still getting 100 million views. It's not like this controversy is affecting him. It's the fact that the product is so god-awful that kids don't even want it. They don't want to put feastables into their face, okay? Products are what matter. Every gaming journalist on the planet preached the glory and wonder of Concord, the new $400 million game that was supposed to take over the gaming industry that flopped so badly they had to fund everyone that bought it after a week and close down shop. Everyone absolutely ragged on Black Myth Wukong, another game that was apparently not so good. Everyone was calling it out for all sorts of heinous things, but it doesn't matter because the game was great and it sold an incredible amount, beating Elden Ring's all-time record of players. Your clothes are unethically made. Your phones are unethically made. Your chocolate is unethically made. But it doesn't stop people from consuming all that stuff because ultimately the product is beneficial to you. The chocolate tastes good, the phone is pretty awesome to have, and you don't want to walk around the street naked because unfortunately society has not reached a zenith of low self-esteem yet. We are still trying to reach our way up that hill, but unfortunately, much like Sisyphus, the boulder keeps getting bigger. <laughs> In all, this trip was a big refresher for me. It's not over. Still, again, recording is from a hotel room. Regular content will return at some point. I'm glad you guys are supporting me through this with uh, slightly less than, you know, ideal content going forward. Me dropping my occasional uh, update stuff here every once in a while. Thank you for supporting me and all that. You guys are amazing. Subscribe for more chaos, of course. I have been working behind the scenes on a couple of scripts for a bunch of big videos that I'm very excited to do, probably for the main channel, which still exists, even though I haven't uploaded there for like two months. Holy shit, I'm becoming pyrocynical. Got got the slop channel here, and then I got the, the never upload channel there. It's, it's a glorious world. Me and Jaden and Logan Paul and Mr. Breast working on big things. But every time I see this in real life, it reaffirms to myself that I was just completely correct with my analysis of how ultimately product is king, content is king, all the advertising and marketing and scheming and planning and backstabbing and zigzagging and flim flamming in the world will not get around the fact that ultimately if the content or the product or the video game or the food, if it's dog shit, people will not buy it. People vote with their wallet. And if I wanted to vote for a terrible product, I'd be making YouTube videos about politics, not whatever the hell I want, just putting my, my chaotic meat into different holes of society. So that's been me, plugging holes with chaotic meat. Thanks for being here. Subscribe for more chaotic meat in different holes. Stay weird, fam.